What do you imagine when you think about food? Pleasure, need, or nutrition? Just wondering, what is food? Do you crave something tasty that could give you comfort? Or do you want something useful to provide energy for a moment? We usually consider food delicious and edible, based on our culture. So many food varieties make us create an identity that reflects our personal preferences. Regarding the offerings from one place or a specific time in history, also, our attachment with specific foods creates a portrait of our personality. It can define our relationship with another or with our emotional eating. But often we forget that most of the time we are just being tricked by the industry, our society and our monkey minds about what we actually need to put on the plate. For example, we know that sugar, salt and fat are hidden in almost every mass-made product for reasons like preservation and taste appeal. But also, the industry knows we can't resist them. Rarely do we take into consideration the choices we make regarding the nutritional value of our food and the side effects of our consumption. The misinformation regarding our body's needs in this particular period of time has led us to poor decisions when we should focus more on whole fruits, vegetables, seeds and nuts. Hmm, it's not our fault. We just need better education and media in the future. We can always vote with our money against the system. Not believing in the industry finance studies which lead to irrelevant evidence. There are some better alternatives. We just need to peek around the corner. By chasing the pathways of our food, we can also see it can provide us with quality time spent together. It can teach us about sharing and understanding, because quite often, food is better with another person around. But shouldn't we ask ourselves how our food is being produced and what type of food we want to share? Also, what are the intentions behind and what's the cost? We should put a question mark on healthy foods that our society promotes, especially when we already know that livestock is the primary contributor to climate change. At the same time, we need to address the violence caused by this industry, which engages in unethical treatment of other beings, just because there is great demand on animal products. Why so much suffering, when there is no need to consume any products like meat, dairy and eggs? These are the leading cause of our number one killer worldwide, heart disease, and most of the illnesses we develop these days in our modern world. Is our taste responsible for this demand? And is it really worth it? What do you think? Are we using food as a tool, a pretext of solving our personal problems? Why we eat, when, or what type of food we unawaredly pick, and most of all, how we produce our food can have a huge impact on the quality of our lives. By being aware of our daily needs, we can address them directly and properly. It's not a piece of cake, but we can stop chasing a bull's tail, literally. Suppressing our issues with food that can't provide fulfillment will raise a demand for unhealthy processed foods that will disrespect our bodies, will destroy our environments and hurt other species with whom we share this earth. So, we're just wondering, what does food actually mean nowadays? Is it taste and comfort, a need for survival, a package of nutrients, a way to be together with others, a cultural identity? And last, but not least, are we really aware of the impact it has on our world? <laughs>